Kelseyville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today in Snowbound, Ottawa will be anything but a winter's tale. It will tell a story that began over 60 years ago on <coughs> July 13, 1953. On that day, what had until then been a midsummer night dream in journalist Tom Patterson's mind became reality. The Shakespearean lovers among my honorable colleagues will already have guessed what my intervention is about. On behalf of the Liberal Caucus, as Liberal spokesperson for Canadian heritage, I wish to express our support for a motion tabled by the member of Perth Wellington, which reads as follows that the House recognizes the Stratford Festival distinct cultural and economic contributions to Stratford, southwestern Ontario, and Canada since in its inception in 1953. Here, here. Mr. Speaker, this motion from the government side is all the more welcome in that so far, most of the government's forays into cultural affairs have been a comedy of errors. <laughs> Let us hope that the motion will not amount to much ado about nothing, so that Canadian artists and cultural creators can finally breathe a collective sigh of relief and declare, now is the winter of our discontent. Mais au fait. But why this motion, Mr. Speaker? Well, that's a good question because a festival as renowned and prestigious as Stratford, the Stratford Shakespeare Festival, certainly does not need such a motion. Its reputation extends far beyond any motion that this House could introduce. This House has never felt the need to debate a motion recognizing the economic and cultural contribution of the Quebec Carnival or the Calgary Stampede. And the Austrian Parliament, for example, would never recognize that the Salzburg Music Festival is a great festival. That is, it simply goes without saying. In the same vein, saying that Stratford is a brilliant and remarkable festival is irrefutable evidence, as irrefutable as saying that the sun shines during the day and not at night. So once again, why this motion? Certainly not to spark debate. There is nothing to debate about it, because no reasonable person could be opposed to this motion, that is, opposed to the Stratford Festival. Is there one single member of Parliament who will say, not to quote Shakespeare, but rather Moliere, cover up this festival that I must not see? No one would ever say that of the Stratford Festival, especially not Quebecers given that of all the Quebecers who have appeared there, beginning, or rather, given all the Quebecers who have appeared there, including the famous Jean Gascon, who was the director from 68 to 74. Now, if people insist, I could debate this because I have enough imagination for that. I could say, for example, that the motion as introduced does not do full justice to the Stratford Festival. Sure, that all's well that ends well. I could suggest adding a few words to the member for Perth Mayor Wellington's motion as follows. That the House recognizes the Stratford Festival distinct cultural and economic contributions to Stratford, Southwestern Ontario, Canada, and the whole world yeah. since in its inception in 1953. Ce que je crois. What I believe, Mr. Speaker, is that the member for Perth Wellington by introducing this motion, simply wanted to give us a farewell gift before leaving political life. He wanted to please us, all of us, and everyone who loves the Stratford Festival. So I'm going to take, opportunity, take the opportunity and I will give myself over to the pure pleasure of declaring all the admiration that I have for the Stratford Festival and I will continue to pepper my speech with Shakespearean quotes, calling upon my Anglophone colleagues to forgive my accent, which despite all of my efforts, resembles that of Moliere or of Tremblay, rather than that of Shakespeare. He can say, love's labor's lost. This is because the festival has done an outstanding job of fulfilling its mandate, 
to set the standard for classical theater in North America using Shakespeare as its underpinning. While focused on entertaining its audience with classical, contemporary, and musical theater productions, the festival has also brilliantly fulfilled at least three other missions. First, the festival trains, develops, and nurtures Canadian artistic talent. It taps into, it, it taps into and helps cultivate the great talent our nation has to offer. Second, festivals like the Stratford Shakespeare Festival are major catalysts in strengthening the social and collective bounds of a community. The collaborative effort that goes into the organization of such festivals, the shared, joyful experience participants and spectators live on opening day and at every performance, that really brings a community together. <laughs> Just last month, I had the pleasure of visiting the great city of Stratford, meeting with members of the Stratford Arts and Culture community, as well as local citizens there. What struck most me was how much this festival is rooted in the identity of individual community members, how much this festival has helped individuals heighten their sense of community. Third, Heart festivals provide economic growth. As the city's largest employer, the Stratford Festival contributes significantly to the multifaceted nature of the city and surrounding region, drawing millions of tourists as well as art organizations and businesses who bring them substantial economic activity, investments, and local job opportunities. On behalf of the Liberal Party of Canada, I thank everybody involved in the Stratford Festival for the great success they have achieved in promoting Canadian culture on the international stage, for showcasing what Canada has to offer to the global arts and culture scene. With no end in, in sight, the Stratford Festival espouses the Bard's words in Twelfth Night. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness and some have greatness crossed up an end. Mr. Speaker, the Stratford Festival greatness was not crossed up an end. That greatness is the result of vision, talent, and hard work. Yeah. Let all Canadians and people abroad celebrate the festival's great success. Let them come to Stratford in great numbers to participate in the signature world-class experience. And now, with sincere apologies to the author of the Scottish play, I would remind all my colleagues that to vote or not to vote in support of M545, that is not the question. Because there is no question that we must vote for it. Here, here.